Hello everyone, we will continue the topic WebDime Pro ABAP and as a part of that, we'll continue the subtopic inbound and outbound flux. And in the previous video, we simply called the assistance class method into this on action display. And after that, whatever the values we are getting for MBRSH, MTART, MEINS, we bind it with the attributes. What are those attributes? MTART, MBRSH, MEINS. And you all know these attributes are binded with the layout elements. MTART, MBRSH, MEINS. So ultimately data will display. Now we will come on to next part. As of now, we have only only did the process for Mara. We have not done the process for MAKT. We'll go step by step. Now, whenever user will click on to the submit button, what will happen? Whenever user will click on to the submit button, this on action display method will trigger. After that, we will get the value of these three, which are, which are from Mara. And this is from MAKT table. Now, whatever is coming into this internal table, LT underscore MAKT, we need to bind with which node. If I will go for the component controller, we need to bind with this node. This node has three attributes. And you all know this node, whatever this node is there, it is binded with the table. So if I will go for OK, this node we bind with the table. What is the node? Mat DESC. If I will go up, Mat DESC Matinar, Mat DESC Spras, Mat DESC MAKTX. So ultimately, whatever the data is coming into LT underscore MAKT internal table, we need to bind with this particular node. What is the node? Mat DESC. And in this node, we have the attribute Matinar, Spras, and MAKTX. So now we will do that process also. Now I will go for this view, main view. I will go for the methods. Now I will write the logic to bind that data with this node also, mat DESC. We'll set. Now the data is into which internal table, LT underscore MAKT. We need to set, we need to set with which node mat DESC. If this data LT underscore MAKT, we need to bind with this mat DESC node. So what I will do, I will simply go for this button, web Den pro code wizard. I will go for the context. Now people will say as of now we have material node. We do not have mat DESC node. We'll drag and drop. You all know whatever is in component controller, it will be visible everywhere. So I will go for the context. I will simply drag and drop mat DESC. I'll just, okay, I'll just drop it again. Okay, yes, I want to copy. Now this node is in this particular view. Now we will set. Again, important learning will come and it is already explained, but still it is a revision. Now we will go for WebDen Pro Code Wizard. Now we will go for set. We need to set the data with this particular node. And we will go for what? Set as table operation. We have the table. Now, if I will go for the context, we'll set with this particular node. I will just go for this. I will go for OK. Before going for OK, again, important learning, and it is already explained when I covered that table. You selected set as stable operation, but whenever I choose this checkbox, it automatically removed. I will again show you. Suppose if I'm going for, suppose if I will close this and call again, if I will go for WebDen Pro Code Wizard, I will go for set as stable operation. 
if I will go for this particular node, you can see this checkbox removed. Why this is removed? I'm selecting as stable operation, but yes, it is removed. Why? Why it is removed? Suppose if I will go for our node in the component controller, if I will go for the node in the component controller, mat desc. Now you can see what is the cardinality by default. It is one is to one. One is to one means it can only go for minimum one element and maximum one element. Just think you have a table. So table can have any number of elements. Suppose if we will go for the perception that table can have zero element and can have any number of elements then we need to choose the cardinality what zero is to n and this is important from the interview perspective in every interview maximum time this question is asked suppose if i am going for set as table operation but that checkbox is not removed then what is the problem the problem is with the cardinality because see what you are doing you are the cardinality of the node is by default one is to one it means it can take minimum one element, maximum one element. So if there is only one element maximum, why system will allow you to go for as stable operation? You should go for zero is to n or one is to n. It depends upon the requirement. Suppose if you this is the requirement that at least one record is always in the table, then you can go for minimum one, maximum n. Now in this case, suppose if I will go for the perception, that table can have minimum zero element and maximum it can have any number of elements then we need to choose the cardinality zero is two now i will save and i will go for this view again and anyways it is fully explained when i covered the topic creation of table now now we will go for methods and i will call it again Suppose if I will go for webden pro code wizard, I will go for set as stable operation. Again, it will not allow me. Then we will go for another point. Now I change the cardinality, but still why, why it is removed because we need to update the mapping also. Why we need to update the mapping? Suppose I will go for context. See you change the cardinality of the node you do change and node is where node is in the component controller but that node is already present in the view we already dragged and dropped into the view we did the changes into the component controller it will not reflect into the view so what you need to do you have to click on to the view and you need to update the mapping important point so I will simply right click onto the node and I will go for update mapping. Just simple understanding from the component controller, you drag and drop to the drag and drop the node to the view. After that, you are doing the changes to the component controller. It will not reflect automatically into the view. We need to update the mapping. Now, if I will go for methods, now it will allow me. I will go for webden pro code wizard set as stable operation i will go for context and i will go for this now it is okay i will go for this now i will put this data declaration at the top and now we will simply remove the comments now you can see here we will change the name of the table. Your MAKT data is into which internal table? LT underscore MAKT. So here we will simply, simply pass the table LT underscore MAKT. And it is bind with the node. What is the node? MAT DESC. You all know this MAT DESC node which has three attributes. It is binded with the table simple process we are doing so whatever the data we are getting into internal table or variables we are binding with the node node has attributes and attributes are binded to the layout 
So everything will display on the web, whatever the, but if whenever we'll bind with the layout, whenever we will run the application, it will display. Now I will check the syntax up to this level. I will simply go to display mode. I will go for yes. I will right click and activate because that's the best way because as of now component controller is reader is in change mode main view is in change mode it is inactive yes so it is the best way to activate so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we binded that data with that table whatever the table is there for and make it so what we did as a part of that, we simply went to the, firstly, we simply went to the context. Yes. So mat DESC node was not there. So we simply drag and drop from the component controller to the view context. After that, whenever we are going for set as table operation, that checkbox is getting removed. Why it is getting removed? Because the cardinality of the node was one is to one one minimum maximum one so if maximum is one how how you can go for table operation you need to change the cardinality but remember it depends upon the requirement if customer is saying minimum one and maximum can be any number then you need to go for one is to n if minimum is zero maximum can be any number then you need to go for zero is to n we took the perception that minimum can be zero. So we choose the cardinality zero is to n. Then we come on to the view. We did the process again, but nothing happened. Still the checkbox is getting removed because we have not updated the node. It needs to be updated because you did the changes in the component controller node. The same thing should reflect in the view also. So we need to update the mapping after that. I simply choose set as table operation. Then this code generated, I replace the internal table name and the same, just go for one golden rule. You are getting the values into work area, variable, internal table. You are passing those values to the node attributes and attributes are on the layout. So ultimately your values will display. Now in the next video, because as of now, we are just preparing the base of our application. The real topic inbound and outbound flux practical demo will start in the next video because we will create a corresponding outbound and inbound in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.